What is the true nature of light? Is it a wave or perhaps a flow of extremely small particles? Light is a form of energy that travels from one place to another place at high velocity. Various scientists have attempted to explain the nature of light. In the 17th century, two different theories about the nature of light were proposed, these theories were the wave theory and corpuscular theory. Around 1700, Newton was the first scientist to explain the nature of light. In this theory, he successfully explained the nature of light. The corpuscular theory is the simplest theory of light in which light is assumed as the tiny particles called corpuscles. The corpuscular theory is often referred to as particle theory or Newton's theory of light. According to the Newton's corpuscular theory, light is made up of tiny particles called corpuscles having negligible mass. These particles are perfectly elastic. The corpuscles are emitted from the luminous sources such as sun, candle, electric lamp etc. The tiny particles always travel in a straight line in all directions. Each particle carries kinetic energy with it while moving. When the particles of light from an object fall on the retina of the eye, they produce an image of the object or sensation of vision. In 1666, Newton had carried out his famous experiment of dispersion of light into colors, which was achieved by making a beam of light pass through a prism. The conclusion he reached was that white light is composed of all the colors of the rainbow, which in his model he explained by saying that the size of corpuscles of light were different depending on their color. The corpuscular theory explains the reflection of light in exactly the same way as the reflection of a perfectly elastic ball from a rigid plane. When the corpuscles hit the reflecting surface, they are reflected from it in such a way that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. This is due to the repulsion between the corpuscles and the reflecting surface. Thus, the laws of reflection were fulfilled, the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection being equal. The corpuscular theory also explains the refraction of light. According to Newton, when corpuscles, light particles, approach the refracting surface, they are attracted near the surface. When they enter the denser medium from a rarer medium, their speed increases and hence change their direction. In this way, within the framework of his corpuscular theory, he justified refraction by assuming a more intense attraction of the luminous particles by the medium with more density. However, it must be considered that, according to his theory, at the instant in which a luminous particle from air strikes water or glass, it should undergo a force opposite to the component of its velocity perpendicular to the surface, which it would entail a deviation of the light contrary to that actually observed. Although Newton's theory was an important step in understanding the true nature of light, the truth is that over time it proved quite incomplete. So, what are the failures of the corpuscular theory? Newton assumed that light travels faster in the denser medium than in the rarer medium which has been proved wrong. The assumption that the different colors of light are due to the differences in the sizes of corpuscles has no justification. Newton thought that reflection of light is due to the repulsion between the corpuscles and refracting surface, while refraction of light is due to the attraction between the corpuscles and refracting surface. Thus, a medium could either attract or repel the corpuscles of light. But later this statement was proved wrong. We all know that glass partially reflects and partially refracts light. How could then glass attract and repel the corpuscles of light simultaneously? The corpuscular theory cannot explain the phenomena of diffraction, interference, and polarization of light. To see more videos, like this and please consider subscribing.